Hello everyone, it's Anita. I make videos about fashion, travel, university and whatever I want and in this video I'm going to talk about books. Uh, so this is a book haul slash what I'm going to read over the summer or what I'm hopefully able to read over the summer. So it's sort of a summer TBR. I bought most of these books recently and I really overdid it. I got too many books. I probably won't finish them in the summer but whatever and uh, a few of them I already had slash got from the library slash yeah something else uh, but I will tell you that in the video I'm also not going to link the books just because I'm from Switzerland I use different bookstores and uh, yeah if you know the title and the offer um, I'm sure you can find the best price for you so yeah but I will put the timestamps of each book in a comment and pin that so you can t skip some of the books. I already know that this video is going to be very long. So I grouped the books in the four languages that they're in. So yeah, this is a multilingual book haul. Yeah, but most of the books are in English. So the first one is The Art of Fiction by David Lodge. So this book is about the different aspects of fiction so it kind of shows you how different authors have mastered the art of fiction I just have some notes on my phone for example people that write about the weather and he gives two examples Jane Austen and Charles Dickens and um, has some extracts of that and discusses how they did that writing about the weather is probably not <laughs> The most interesting thing, but they mastered that. If you want to write a novel, you're interested in how it works and you want to be a bit inspired, then I think that's really going to be a good book. I'm interested in reading what his thoughts are. Maybe it will help me <laughs> write something, I don't know, in the future. We'll see, we'll see. The next one is Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It's a gothic novella. It's very short, like every novella, obviously. It's from the Scottish author Robert Louis Steven Stevenson. It's about a lawyer who has proof that uh, this Mr. Hyde is a very evil man, but at the same time he's the sole heir to Dr. Jekyll, and Dr. Jekyll is pretty much the most respected man in England, so this lawyer is very confused how these two men that are so different are connected and he thinks that maybe this evil Mr. Hyde is blackmailing Dr. Jekyll or there's something really wrong going on and he wants to save his friend so he kind of starts to investigate but then he discovers something so shocking and I'm excited to read this and it's also a very quick read. Then we have an American novel on the Road by Jack Kerouac. This is based on the travels of Kerouac and his friends across the United States. It was highly praised by a lot of critics, so I don't know, like it's a lot and a lot of people's reading lists, so I thought I would uh, give it a try. The next book is the Leopard by Tomasi di Lampedusa. This novel chronicles the changes in Sicilian life and society during the Italian unification. It's considered one of the most important novels in modern Italian literature. I'm pretty sure I never read anything Italian. I mean, it's in English, <laughs> but um, I never read anything by an, by an Italian author. Also beautiful cover. And speaking of Italian literature, I decided to read the Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri. This is an Italian long narrative poem. It's widely considered to be the preeminent work in Italian literature and one of the greatest works of world literature. So I thought it was time I read that. <laughs> it's about the afterlife and the poem is divided into three parts, Inferno, Purgatorio and Paradiso. So hell, Purgatory and Paradise and if you hear Inferno you probably think of Dan Brown's novel Inferno and yes that was based on Dante's The Divine Comedy and I mean it has also influenced a lot of different works. Uh, speaking of really old books I got The Odyssey and uh, I also ordered The Iliad but it hasn't arrived but you can just imagine that there are two books and these are obviously Greek epic poems attributed to Homer. Greek mythology is very 
present in literature and in movies and yeah just in art <laughs> everywhere stories are very familiar but i just wanted to make sure that i read them also i don't know why i got those books in english because i could have just got them in german because german is my first language but yeah i don't know uh all right so then i get to the english non-fiction books i got so these two i borrowed from my university library and uh, they're from the a very short introduction series from the oxford university press so this one's organized crime a very short introduction by georgios a antonopoulos and georgios papanikolaou i'm sorry if i pronounced that wrong and the second one is criminal justice a very short introduction by julian v roberts i'm interested in crime that's why i got these i think that very short introdu introduction series is very helpful there are many topics that are in this format i'm currently reading hollywood a very short introduction there are just a lot of topics covered that way i think that's very practical if you want to get a nice overview of something these are just really great for that i also got two ebooks and i like to read my ebooks on my ipad it's just i don't know what model it is but yeah i just uh got two ebooks just because I don't really have a lot of space. Uh, the first one is Collapse, How Societies Choose to Fail or Survive. The professor from my demography class actually recommended it, that's why I got it. It's about different uh, societies and what challenges they faced and uh, yeah, if they survived or not. I mean, the challenges are actually very similar to what we have now as well, like environmental problems, climate change, uh, things like that so uh it's supposed to be really interesting so i'm excited to read it and the second ebook is adnan's story the search for truth and justice after serial by rabia shoudhry shoudhry serial is a podcast that i listened to and in the first season they covered the case of adnan syed when he was 17 his ex-girlfriend went missing and they found her body and shortly after that they met him their main suspect and convicted him of her murder they didn't really have a lot of proof it's just it was very circumstantial there was one witness who said like oh yeah he did it i saw him do it he was like the key witness for the state and yeah i mean there is just a lot a lot of uh, questions i had after listening to that podcast i'm really interested in this case and i really want to learn more about it all right so uh let's go to the french books i got uh, just keep in mind i'm by no means fluent in french these books are complicated and i just got them because i'm interested in classics it's going to take me a long time to read them because like i said my french is not that good okay that being said <laughs> the first french book i got is Les Liaisons Dangereuses by Pierre Chaudrelot de Laclos and it's an epistolary novel so it's composed entirely of letters instead of chapters they are just different letters I don't know if you can find one so it's like Lettre 32 and I think that's a very interesting concept I like when people do that not just letters also documents like newspaper articles like that i think that's a very interesting way of telling a story it's about the marquise de merteux and the vicomte de molmont two narcissistic rivals and ex-lovers who use seduction as a weapon to socially control and exploit others so that's already very interesting it's apparently either also sort of a criticism of the french aristocracy before the french revolution sort of to say that oh look at how they behave their perverse way of manipulating people and that or it's just a moral story basically interested to read that pourquoi pas and the next one i got is La Tulipe Noire by Alexandre Dumas. I read The Count of Monte Cristo by him, but in English, and that was a really big book, so that's why I read it in English. But I'm excited to read something in French by him, and this version, they also give you additional information. It's a historical novel 
And the story begins with a historical event, the lynching of the Dutch Grand Pensionary, which is roughly equivalent to a modern prime minister and his brother. And the main plotline involving fictional characters takes place in the following 18 months. Only gradually does the reader understand its connection with the killing of the brothers. So that already uh, sounds interesting because also the main story is because the title La Tulip Noir means the black tulip and it's about this town in the Netherlands has this competition or sort of awards a prize the person who is able to grow a black tulip I don't know why maybe that's also um part of the mystery but yeah and so the people are very ambitious because uh, they get a lot of money apparently if they manage to do that so yeah i'm excited to see where this leads me the next book i got is lavar by moliere and this one is a play it was first performed on september 9 1668 and i mention it because my birthday is september 9 so uh, i figured it out after I bought it so that's interesting the English title is the miser so someone that is very greedy which is probably why uh, there are a lot of dollar signs on the book cover so it's about um, a really greedy man and he tries to marry a very young woman and kind of jeopardizes like other people's relationships and just it's a very greedy greedy man you know and like I said it's a place so this is going to make it easier for me to read it's just easier to follow the story, yeah. And the last French book I got is Le Juste by Albert Camus. And uh, I got this book, I mean, you can probably tell that's a bit older, on the exchange side here in Switzerland. It's a website, it's called Exilia. I'll link it down below if you're from Switzerland. And you can exchange books on there, so I didn't pay anything because when I signed up, I got a little credit and I use that to get this book. I can also make a video about how to get books for free or um, pretty cheap if you want because I think it's very important that people get access to books. So uh, this play, uh, it's also a play, sorry I didn't mention that, is based on the true story of a group of Russian socialist revolutionaries who assassinated the Grand Duke Sergei Alexandrovich in 1905 and exposed the moral issues associated with murder and terrorism. So, um, sounds good. I mean, there are more famous works by him, but I just discovered it on that website and thought I would, you know, read it. Now let's go to the third language, which is German, since I already mentioned that my native slash first language is German. I read books in German most of my life, so I kind of got over it, but I thought, you know, I might as well read something in German again. And the first book I'm reading is Das Urteil und andere Erzählungen by Franz Kafka. So I thought I would read something by Kafka. And I mean, the English title would be The Judgment and other stories. Yeah, I thought I would read something by him. If you're a German speaker, I recommend getting the version from Surkamp, that's the publisher. And uh, what I really like is that they put little notes next to the text, just if there's something, uh, if they're phone words or words that are not used anymore. Also in the end, uh, there are some interpretations, so it's very good if you want to um, know more about it. And the next book is more modern, because it's published recently, I wanna say this year last year this year something like that and it's Café on Zigaretten by Ferdinand von Schirach and I am pretty sure I have all his books like these white books here are all his books and uh, he is or no, he was a lawyer he's from Germany and he started writing books so uh, he started writing short stories like in it is a collection in books, all uh, with cases, but obviously fictitious. And probably some were uh, inspired by real cases, but um, just the way he writes is very interesting. Also, he wrote a play a few years ago. It's called Terror. I'm not sure what the title is in English, but probably the same. And uh, it's a very interesting philosophical dilemma. The play was very successful. So that's why 
a lot of people know him. Yes, yeah, so he's very successful. He doesn't work as a lawyer anymore and all his books are very like philosophical. Also, you know, what is just, what is justified, stuff like that, you know. So in this book are some autobiographic stories, notes and observations. And Café on Cigaretten translates to coffee and cigarettes. So very similar to English. So let's go to the very last book of this haul with the fourth and last language. If you look at my face, you uh, can probably tell that I'm not Swiss. I am from the Balkans. My parents are from the Balkans. I was born and raised here in Switzerland. Technically, my mother tongue is Serbo-Croatian. And I mean, I would speak with a Serbian accent just because my mother grew up in Serbia and, you know, accents, linguistics, you know, uh, all that jazz. My English is actually better than my mother tongue, <laughs> which, um, yeah, it's very embarrassing. I just have other priorities. I will work on it, which is why I also got a book to read and my mom just had it. If you're from there, you know it. It's Nadrini Čupria by Ivo Andrić. This one is a historical novel. Uh, the English title is The Bridge on the Drina. It revolves around the Mehmet Pasha Sokolovic bridge in Visegrad. And the story spans about four centuries and covers the Ottoman and Austro-Hungarian occupations of the region with a particular emphasis on the lives, destinies and relations of the local inhabitants. And Andrzej actually was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature, so it must be good. Um, like I said, my mom already had a copy. Yeah, so that's the last book. Uh, <laughs> I know I am all over the place. I don't know, maybe you found something interesting that you also want to read. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, it would really make my day if you did that. See you in my next video. Bye!